Okay. Do you know why it's a terrific Tuesday, Hunter? Because <laughs> Oscar-winning actress, media mogul, producer, mom of three, Reese Witherspoon is here. Oh, it's Reese Witherspoon Hi. Day. And Reese, do you know that it's also Taco Day? Taco Tuesday. National Taco uh, Day. No, I mean, no, National Taco it's, Day. It's also, wait, today's not Tuesday, is it? Yes, oh, it is. <laughs> but in addition to being Tuesday. <laughs> Every Tuesday is Taco Tuesday, y'all. No, awesome. but it's actually, actually Wait, National Taco Day. Can That's I, incredible. Can I please get to the bottom of something? This <laughs> is important. Yes. Ever since we've been on the air together, this girl has said your name probably 20 times on air. I love can Reese Witherspoon. Can we put Withers together a montage? Wait, she's my, be she's <laughs> my bestie. I did not. She, yes, you did. We are, yes, I mean, she we did. are. Now, are, oh, I just want to know for, okay, tell me about your friendship. Well, <laughs> first of all, we've been friends a very, very long yes. time, and we really have bonded over being Southern and also book lovers. And when, you know, we talked about her mother's love of yes. reading and my mother's love and my grandmother being a teacher, and we just have always bonded over that. And, and well, you're can friends I, with her sister, too, Barbara. Well, Barbara. And I recently went on a girl's trip, and you were just asking me because uh -huh. you got a little bit jealous. Yeah, I did. Yeah. yeah. Well, how come you And I understand because I kept saying to Barbara, Where's Jenna? See? Oh. How and come how... I wasn't invited? Yeah. Well, because I have to be here with you oh. Monday <laughs> through okay, Thursday. Okay, 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 got it, got Wait, it, got but it, can it. I just job. say, I, I have to say this. Yeah. You, I've admired yes. you. And I think Thanks. this she is has. why I do she talk has. about you is that yeah. you have set this bar, yeah. not like in, even in Hollywood. You're an incredible mother, you are a mogul. Thank mm -hmm. you. Like, first of all, would this little girl have thought that she would be a mogul? <laughs> Never. I wrote this book because during the pandemic, I was looking through childhood pictures and remembering that I had started all these businesses as a little girl, that I had learned kind of early business concepts when, when I was just practicing having lemonade stands or cupcake mm -hmm. stands or, hello? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Um, so I thought, wouldn't it be cute to to write about me as a little girl? I was mm. that girl in class who was always talking and got I can't in trouble imagine. with the teacher. Can we, can we talk, I want to talk about the book in a second, yeah. but were you always a confident child? What did you call yourself confident? that? Confident? I was kooky. You were kooky. I was very creative and all over the place. And I think it, sometimes it was hard for the teachers because I would break out in song and I was obsessed with Dolly Parton and I would not play with the other children, but I would perform for everybody. So you wanted to be, it's not you wanted to be seen. Like, I, I want to be I seen. I just had a big personality. Yeah. But what yeah. I love is that you yeah. had a teacher yeah. who basically <laughs> said to your mom, because uh, my yeah. mom was slightly worried about me, um, because I love to play dolls so much. <laughs> yeah. Until she was a teenager. Yeah, I was a little old. Aww. But she read that Toni Morrison loved yeah. to, she thought, yeah. oh, she'll just write. Yeah. You know, she's just a creative. But you had a teacher who told your mom, she just wants to act. Like, yeah. she's going to be an actress. Yeah, my kindergarten teacher, she was my PE teacher, Patty Wright, who's still at my school. <laughs> Hi, Patty. She called my mom and said, your daughter's an actress. And my mom was like, what are you talking about? I'm a nurse. Wait, her dad's what? a doctor. What are you talking about? And she said she will not stop singing Dolly Parton songs <laughs> to all the kindergartners. <laughs> and they are not listening. And she won't play with anybody. She just wants to perform. Create. Oh, my gosh. And so it was actually really beautiful to be seen by one of your teachers yeah. like that. And my mom got me in acting classes after that. I mean, I love I mean, that. I think when people see you, they just see, like, wildly successful. They see a wildly successful person. Did you always felt seen in Hollywood? Mm. Did... Well, no. I mean, look, I had to pay my dues. I had to do, you know, I did the work behind the scenes, too. During high school, I um, worked as a, a production assistant because I really wanted to know yeah. all sides of yeah. the business. Um, and I think it's important to pay your dues. And... It, to that end, I didn't always feel like I had any agency. I had a, an ability to affect change. Yeah. But then as I got a little bit older, I started looking around at the parts for women. They just weren't good they enough. They weren't there, yeah. yeah. And, and I read a lot, so I started optioning books. And so you just, said, I'm going to make my I'm opportunities. I'm going to make my yeah. opportunities. Female focused. Yeah, and I really think that when I was seeing that it was, there was a problem for me and a lack of opportunities for me, I realized that was across the board for yeah. all of my actress yeah. friends, too. So it's been such a joy and pleasure to grow Hello Sunshine, my company, and oh my get to work with some of my really great friends like Carrie Washington and Jen Aniston, and we have a show coming on with Jennifer Garner and one with Zoe Saldana. So it's been so fun. I mean, fun. So you're creating all of these yes. incredible Gosh. shows so that our girls, yes. that your we, daughter, have yeah. women to look up to. Yeah, and you just see a wider range of the female experience when women are the authors totally. of their own stories. Wow. Um, we, are you guys all real close friends, by the way? You, Jen Aniston, Jen Garner. Yeah, I mean, look, we've all yeah. been around for yeah. forever. You know, yeah. we've been through hills and valleys together. Yeah. And, yeah, it means a lot that I have friendships yeah. where I can call like, I called Aniston last week, yeah. and I was like, I have to talk to you. It's yeah. really important. Um, we share a lot of commonality yeah. 
growing yeah. up in a business yeah. together. Does it feel weird to be on a morning show couch since, you Oh, know? my God. <laughs> Are you having a strange guys, moment? We do not wake up as early as you yeah. guys do. <laughs> but you pretend you do. We pretend very do well. Do you love playing your role? But I never wake up at 3 o'clock no, in the morning. You won't, you won't have like, that. She just told me she wakes up at yeah. 3 o'clock in the morning, yeah. and I have a rule that I don't wake up with anything before uh, that has a 4 in front of it. Okay, oh, but really? you wake up at yeah. 5. That's five. early. I'll do 5 a.m. Okay, wait. We have to ask you this oh, one yeah. thing, because we like to share your advice on the show. I don't know oh, if yeah. you ever see. Mm -hmm. I mean, I wish we had a montage. Next time you're yeah, here, we'll create one. We'll, yeah. okay. But this, this is, you said, is your best advice mm -hmm. you ever received. The mm -hmm. sooner you figure out that other people's opinions of you are none of your business, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter what they think of you, mm -hmm. you become totally free. Do you remember? First of all, we love that. Mm -hmm. We yeah. gave a whole mm -hmm. five minutes to it. Mm -hmm. you but did? I, yes. Oh, that's so nice. But do you remember that moment for you? Like, do you remember when you stopped caring what other people think? You know, I think it was probably right around Legally Blonde, Sweet Home Alabama mm -hmm. time, and I just started, I would look at myself online. If I wanted, if I felt bad about myself, I could find more bad information yeah. about myself mm -hmm. online to just go into the pits. And I thought, you know what, this is really toxic. I can't do this. Mm -hmm. And I have to remember that other people's opinions aren't my business. Mm -hmm. That's their private feelings, and especially if they want to put them on the internet. But I don't need to let them into my, my brain. Mm -hmm. um, this is just hurtful. Right, yeah. you just avoid, you just don't read those kinds yeah, of things. and then I'll yeah. never, and Brene Brown's words, like, I'll never dare greatly. I'll never yeah. be yes. brave because I'll be crippled by the yeah. fear that I'm judged. And I know people judge people all day long, but you got to be brave. And yeah. by the way, Sweet Home Alabama, you how have 20 many? years. 20? How is that possible? Yeah. Is that crazy? How is that? That's one of my I favorite. I mean, the baby in the bar. All time. <laughs> Stop it. Oh my God! Oh my God! Look at it! I, I could Look watch that. Is there, is there ever going to be a reboot of Sweet Home Alabama? I, I hope so. I think that would be a great idea. Yeah. I would know. you be in it? Yeah, you have to. You <laughs> We're just trying to manifest some you things. Look exactly. I, mean, the I don't same. know. Maybe I don't know. That sounds fun. Do you guys want me to? Yes. Do that? Yeah. Yes, we do. Do we uh, want yes. her to do this? Y'all are <laughs> quiet. Okay. Hi. I'll make some calls. Okay. Make some good. Calls.